Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. Uh, I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. And this week's question comes from uh, Kartik Sharur. How does a postdoc position compare to a research scientist position? So how is a postdoc position compared to a research scientist position? And then he follows up with um, how does an industry postdoc position compare to a, a academic postdoc position? Uh, so here we're comparing three things. And this is a great question when we get a, lo a lot um, and one that we're always, always answering with our associates is how do you compare um, an industry postdoc versus an academic postdoc versus a, a research scientist position in industry? And which should you go, sh go for first? Right, so what are the what are the pros and cons? Uh, now, the the first thing we always like to we always like to give this advice, and all of our postdocs and our consultants who have done postdocs give this advice too. Um, but there's re no real reason to do an industry postdoc, especially if you want to stay in industry, you want to go into industry. Um, most companies, if you do an industry postdoc for them, they will not keep you afterwards. So you'll do an industry postdoc. You won't make as much money as you could as a, as a research scientist, uh, and, and then they'll let you go afterwards. So this is really a last resort, and it's not something you should focus on first. Um, instead, if you want to go into industry, make sure that you're doing your best to transition into a research scientist position, even an entry-level research scientist position. Uh, you'll get paid better, have better benefits, um, and, and you'll have more responsibility, and, and you you know, you'll, you'll move up from that role of just being a postdoc and having to, to do, what you, do what you're told. Um, however, that being said, there is a little bit more independence in a postdoc position, even an industry postdoc position. Um, so if you really, really value your independence and you, and you want to stay on a, a, a typical postdoc route, but in industry, it might be a good fit for you. In terms of academic postdocs uh, versus industry, obviously, in academia, you're going to be paid uh, much less, less than even an industry postdoc. And the goal, the only reason to do an academic postdoc in, in today's world and in today's academic environment is if you still want to try to go on and, and be a professor. We've talked a lot about those numbers, though. Uh, obviously, the trends in terms of open professorships are going way down. Uh, so unless you really want to hold out for an academic position and you're okay going for five, six years, up to 10 years as a postdoc in academia, um, highly, highly recommend that you don't do that. Right? So if you want to transition in industry, don't do an academic postdoc. There's no reason to. There's no reason to do an industry postdoc either. And you might be asking, why is this? Uh, don't some positions require an industry postdoc? Uh, no. And if you look at many of the articles we published, a lot of our postdocs have written articles that talk about the, the fact that staying in academia to do a postdoc doesn't help you at all. And many postdocs are working in research scientist positions next to people with master's degrees or just bachelor's degrees, and they're at the same level. They're at the same research scientist three level or the same senior scientist level. Right? So what this means is, don't get disheartened by this, it just means that once you get your PhD, if, if you've made the decision to go into industry, the sooner you can do it, the better. Uh, there's no reason to stay in academia and certainly there's no reason to do an, an industry postdoc if you want to eventually get into a research scientist position. You're better off going directly into that research scientist position as soon as possible. Um, the pay obviously will be much higher. Uh, you'll be able to climb the ladder faster, your career trajectory uh, will be much different. And every year you stay in academia, uh, you're actually holding yourself back, right? You're, that's one year of, of not getting industry experience or on-the-job training in that research scientist position. Okay, so, so finally, you know, if you've made that decision to move into industry, you just have to realize that you already have all the tools you need, you have all the technical skills, you have the PhD, that box is checked. You also had, have developed many of the transferable skills you need to transition into industry. Staying in a postdoc is not going to help you develop more transferable skills. Uh, you, are, you already have what you need, so you should go ahead, uh, not hold back, and go ahead and start applying to those research scientist positions. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD, and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.